Der Klassiker is always a fixture that leaps off the page. Der Klassiker, Borussia Dortmund versus Bayern München. Both unbeaten in the Bundesliga, both in fine form. You couldn't ask for a bigger match. We take a closer look at the key positions and compare the clubs. Who'll come out on top in this face-off? Dortmund are out for redemption after falling short in last season's title race by the smallest of margins. In the heart of defence, both teams are stacked with quality. Mats Hummels and Nico Schlotterbeck in black and yellow. Min Jae Kim and Matthias De Ligt in red and white. The South Koreans hit the ground running in Munich. He's won 68% of all challenges, a team high at Bayern. De Ligt is close behind at 60%. It's a similar split in the Dortmund partnership. Kim and De Ligt both boast a pass completion rate of 95%, giving their teammates security in the builder. Hummel's value is 91%, with Schlotterbeck on 90%. But Borussia's German duo are more of a goal-scoring threat, combining for three goals. While only De Ligt is off the mark for Bayern. And Mats Hummels with the opening goal! So a point to both sides. 1-1. In attacking midfield, the two top clubs have plenty of creativity. For Dortmund, the man pulling the strings up front is Julian Brandt, who's arguably had his best ever start to a season. With four goals and four assists, he's the team's best scorer and provider. His key attribute is his versatility. He's capable of playing all positions behind the striker. Jamal Musiala's individual quality is almost unmatched, but this season he has yet to truly find his feet. After an injury, he's only started four of nine Bundesliga games. The man who scored the title-winning goal last season is still struggling for consistency. Leave it to the young magician, Jamal Musiala! His brace against Darmstadt may turn the tide. The nine men trying to hold out, Musiala! But Borussia get this point for now, 2-1. Leroy Zane is in the form of his life. He scored eight goals so far, already matching his haul for the previous Bundesliga campaign. And he's doing it efficiently, converting all six of his big chances. It's a big improvement for the pacey winger. In 2022-23, he squandered 15 of his 16 big chances. Daniel Marlins kept up last season's fine form and remains a key part of Edin Terzic's system. The Dutchman's known for his speed. No Dortmund player has had more shots and he's already scored three goals. But he can't keep up with Leroy Zane right now. 2-2. Absolutely stunning. Nine Bundesliga appearances, 12 goals and five assists. Fantastic figures. His XG value is 8.6. So Harry Kane scored 3.4 more goals than was to be expected. Another sign of his class. At Dortmund, it's Niklas Fulkrug leading the line. Finally settled after five straight starts. With just two goals to his name, there's still room for improvement, but he's shown he's the man for big moments. Still, the striker comparison is in favour of the record champions. 3-2. Will someone entirely different be the game changer this time? The best example is Anthony Modest, whose equaliser last season saw Zignal Iduna Park erupt. I do not believe it! Yusufa Mukoko has shown he's capable of that too. Eight of his 13 goals so far came after being subbed on. Bayern also have an ace on the bench. Matis Tell's come on for his side on all nine match days this season. His record, three goals and one assist. So both sides could have the decisive man to come off the bench and win the game. And Dortmund are playing in front of their yellow wall. Will it be redemption for Dortmund?